Okay, everybody, welcome to pre-race coverage of the 2018 Open North American Championship Day 3 here in Fairbanks, Alaska, Mushers Hall. We have a really exciting day of racing ahead. It's going to be pretty warm out today. You're going to go on a journey with me. We're going to turn the camera around here and keep it around for most of the rest of the day. We'll just do a quick intro at the beginning to let you know to send your questions. Let us know what you want to see. This is, uh, we'll take a journey together through your eyes. We're going to start out with Buddy Street. And we got him getting his race ready. He's in first place right now, Buddy from Fort Nelson. If you go to his Facebook page, Bud Streeper, he live streamed his race yesterday for about 42 minutes. Super cool. We'll visit with him in just a second. There's his wife leaning in third. Here's Bud right now to let us know what's going on. How are we doing, Bud? Real good, real good. Um, yeah, we're excited to get going. This is the third day and yeah, the dogs feel really strong and um, we're happy with what we're seeing. It looks like it's gonna be a great day of racing. So I went home last night and watched the live stream like three times. There's some photo bombing going on. <laughs> Fun day here. That's the president. That's the atmosphere. <laughs> yep. that we we're got our club president here. here. Um, yep. That live streams just so folks know they can go to your page from yesterday and they can see 42 minutes of pretty wild racing. That's the trail, and that's the trail that we've been running here since Lombard and Reddington and Atla. We've been racing here. That is the trail. There's a couple of turns that changed. But them are the pole line, and that's the golf course, and that's the gravel pit. So the history out here is just immense, and it's uh, it's it, I'm it was great to have all the comments and uh, the views and the shares, and it was uh, it was a great day of racing. So can folks tune in again today to your feed? We're we're working on it. We are so <laughs> um, everybody's got great ideas, and uh, one of my friends come up with a, a mounting dock on there, and a battery right a battery pack up. So then I'm hands free and um, no distracted driving being here today. So, you know, so, but uh, the plan is to go live and, and I would uh, go to Bud Streeper on, or Streeper Kennels, Streeper Kennels Racing. You don't got to friend me as in Bud Streeper, you would. So Streeper Kennels uh, Racing Sled Dogs. If you like that page, you'll be uh, automatically able to see that. And um, yeah, just, we just ask people once you see it, just to share it. And the reason for that is to let the people know what these dogs are doing, to, to enjoy the ride that that, uh, that that they're allowing us to go with them. They look fantastic. There was I was just we were all mudge mushers sitting there saying, "Man, he is so lucky to have such a fine-tuned team." Yep, hauling down right. that trail. And, and I'm just the musher. I'm just the musher today. I mean, it's a large group. My father and my mother, my sisters, my wife, my wife's mother, the whole my kids, scene right there. Our handlers. It's, it takes a lot of work to put our operation together, and um, yeah, it's it's quite uh, rewarding to to be a part of it. Well, I know you have a lot of fans out here. We'll be cheering you on. Thanks we'll be lot. waiting for you at the finish. Yep. And uh, good luck today. Thanks yeah, so much. Um, the team's looking great. I just want to talk about my yep. leaders, Elvis and Bobby, two black dogs that run the rendezvous. And this is kind of a tougher course than a typical North American. The warmer weather and the immense amount of snow that we've had all year so it's a tougher tougher trail and it almost reminds me of anchorage the speed that we're going we're not breaking records at 20 mile an hour it's a little more pace control and um yeah it's the it's the dog food that's keeping us going it's the red pod dog food and it's 10 squared uh nutritional supplements from canine health forward and that's what keeps our team moving and last night they got the glyco charge we use revive revive, revive. Is, the, is the post exercise supplement and i mean when they have that when with the ice cubes you wouldn't know when they'd run. And it's not like I can fool you with spare dogs because every dog that I brought to Alaska is running in this race. So it's, uh, it's great to see their recovery. And um, yeah, I mean, the, the sports come a long ways and I look forward to, to working with the experts to make it even better so the dogs can, can perform at a higher, higher level. Well, I certainly appreciate your live feed. That was super cool. I'd love to see more sleds have it. It's more like NASCAR, it gets the crowd really excited on the trail. It's always hard to see you leave and not be with you, but then now they can be with you. Absolutely. My dad always said this. So um, it's great to have that option. And I'll, I'll try to age right now. You can see the stuff that we did in Anchorage before this race gets started. And uh, that was the World Championship banner team on the third day. And uh, for, uh, hopefully my team will perform like it did down there. Cool. Bud Streeper, thanks so much. We'll cheer you on. We'll see you at the finish line. Thanks And the start. Thanks to nonstop. Right on. Thank you. you All right. We have, have a, good race, a little congratulations from our club president. There we are. Do you have a quick word for us? You want to introduce yourself? Just let us know how it feels to be on day three of your race. Dog Mushers Association, and we're here. It's the third day of the Open North American Championship Sled Dog Race, GCI Open North American Championship Sled Dog Race. We're glad it's the third day as the board, but we're excited because this is always the fun day. A lots of passing going on with the slowest team starting first, and then for fastest team going out last. It's going to be fun. 
nine more miles today and the weather's warming up the sun's coming out the trail's probably going to get pretty soft so it's gonna be very interesting today it's always fun yeah it looked really exciting yesterday it was warm mm -hmm. and then there were a lot of folks doing all kinds of things here right there's a fur dealer out front there seems like there's a uh, a parka parade today at 1 30 maybe year we have a parka parade while the dog drivers are out we have a parka parade and they the fairbanks art association gives 500 dollars to the winner of that parka parade and then we have a pop scramble for the kids tonight. The Alaska Trap, or at this afternoon, the Alaska Trappers Association is doing their fur auction. They started at 11 o'clock today and they were here yesterday. We have vendor tents, we have all kinds of food, and it's a glorious day to come Two out and watch a dog race. So if folks want to follow the race online, there's the ADMA website, right? Alaska Dog Mushers Association has a good website. Uh, we have a website. We I would go to our Facebook page, Alaska Dog Mushers Association Facebook page. You don't have to be a Facebook person to get on that Facebook page. We have up, up live Google Docs that will update the times. Go to kfar660.com and you can listen live. And then you can go to YouTube and watch Alaska Live TV and they're they're do they have three cameras along the trail and they're doing live video feed there so basically folks at home have lots of ways they, they need a big computer monitor and then open up lots of browsers and follow <laughs> everything, everything right <laughs> I mean that's really the future of what's gonna make this cool is when people can do the Alaska live follow Bud Street for one corner get some up close from me in another corner get your other live streamer right. Carl from the roof this is the future of broadcasting dog sports it hasn't been done and mixed in one place and we got to encourage folks to open up lots of browsers. Right. It is It is interesting, though, the old guys, you know, the old racers that raced ONAC and, and Limited 50 years ago are still out there with their radios plugged in their ears and their time sheets. <laughs> right. So everybody can listen at home. Thanks you so much, Paul. We really appreciate it. Great race venue. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll say thanks to you. And we'll Thank look you around. We'll all you, do. you bet. I'll point out what we're talking about here. Here's the vendor tents. Great food in there and supplies. Our world-class mushers hall. I'll zoom in for you right there. So you can see that's the cabin. That's a log cabin that the mushers own here. They all chipped in and own it. The club itself, there's your start shoot. We have Lena Streeper right here. I mean, she's got her race focus on third place. Top placing female right now. I know she wants to pass Michael Tetzner. Who doesn't, right? Yep. And, <laughs> Bud back there. and Bud back there, yeah, right? I will. We, we love to have a second year in a row of a female champion. Yeah, not, oh, to, not for it. <laughs> Great, well, good luck out there. Thank Lena Streeper sitting at third place. You can see how long these gain lines are, how big of a team they are. They're just like the length of an Iditarod team, all staked out and ready to go. We got some other behind the seats covers. Anybody have any questions that I can help with while we're doing the around the, the table here? Do people sew their own Parkers? Hannah Hamill uh, held tune in from our online audience. Great question, Hannah. Um, the one I have was sewn by my neighbors right here in. Uh, in Willow, Alaska. Oh boy, this is like a dream team of folks here. We have Pam Reddington, Jake Wittrup, and Heather Reddington from Fort Nelson. So she's gonna sound Canadian. Race day, right? Everybody ready? Everybody well rested? Uh, Pam, we took your advice last night and we got social. So Jake led some uh, handlers into a charge of um, staying up late and sawning and having a great time watching footage. So thanks to that yesterday. If you didn't see our feed yesterday, Pam Reddington, the wife of the late Joey Reddington, whose race this is now a memorial year for, suggested that we all have more fun as a community of dog mushers, right? So watch that. Jake just finished publishing Mushy Magazine. He's going to move on to more mid-distance, I hope. Mid-distance racing and also going to be hoping to go on the nutrition dogs. That's right, animal nutrition part. And then let's get Heather's story, because we don't really know anything except for she's a Reddington and a superstar. I just came up for the race. From Fort Nelson? Yeah. Which is not next door? No, it's like 1,200 miles. <laughs> and what is this tradition? I mean, that's why I'm here. You know, I, this is a traditional race. This is a race, like jo Pam pointed out yesterday, that, uh, you know, really has brought this community together for a long time. Years it was in downtown, right, on, the, on 2nd Street. Some years it's been here. So you're willing to drive 1,200 miles to Canada with like seven dollar gas. You bet. And what what what's your biggest take home memories year after year? This was my dad's favorite race. I came all the time, hang out with my dad, and then help all of our friends. Right? It's a, such a it makes a community. All these mushers together, and I've known them my whole life. Right on. Maybe it's like coming home for a family reunion. I, and I feel that way too. Like uh, I know that you know being in Nome with the distance mushers was incredible. 
I had the excuse of work on Friday and then knew that without having to spend a thousand bucks to get back to Nome, I could just do five hours of driving and join the reunion here. That's right. I, I came home in August for a funeral. It wasn't a fun time. But I always come to ONAC because I always have a great time and I get to see everybody. Right on. Heather Reddington, Jake Wittrup, Pam Reddington. We are ready for race day. This is just pre-race coverage. We'll check in with you later for some updates. Thanks for your time. We'll keep bringing the audience on a little tour here. Here we go. We got other teams getting ready, folks. We'll start seeing some dogs here soon. You can see each dog team, each sled ready to go. That's a cool looking sled there, right? All the different trucks and kennels. How you doing? Nikki Sayo had a good run yesterday. We're hoping he has another one today. We saw interviews with Andrea and Gary at the end of our piece yesterday, two and a half hour marathon stream. So if you're, if you're looking to see an interview with her, jump on there. Look at these two guys. Craig Taylor, oh no, John Earhart, Michael Tetzner, number two there, having it, figuring it out there, S sharing strategy, right? These guys were flying yesterday. But we don't do it with the, uh, no, no, we won't, but uh, how's it feel being in second? Is that a nervous position or a good position? It's a crazy position. Okay, Michael Tetzner. Super sandwich. <laughs> I know Lena's gunning for you. And here we are, John Earhart, he had a really good run, and Ronnie, what's up for today? What's the plan? Just go steady, steady run. That's the game plan. When you hit that new uh, mileage out there, when you hit that new seven point something mile gate, keep the same pace or yeah, pick it up a little bit? Or? We'll, we'll see what the dogs are doing. I don't want them to, they're, they're actually going to go faster in that extension just because it's new trails. Right on. Yeah, so just got to watch them. So it's about managing your team today, yeah. right? We'll let you go ahead and get your team ready. Thanks for that. We'll be following the Earhart family. Always, always in there. There you go, a little hug there. I believe that's Don Cousins. You can see Jennifer looking good on her radio headset here. Doing her 89.1, her so tune into that, right? Tune into that. You can live stream the radio coverage on 89.1. One. So get, go um, KRFF 891.com. KRFF 891.com. Yeah. Cool. So many ways to follow this race. I'm not sure there's ever been more. <laughs> like this is the it's year. Awesome. This, this is, is the year. Yeah. The, all the more, the better. Exactly. We'll check in with you soon. Thanks so much, Jennifer. Right on. And we're cruising this way. There's Tetzner Land. There's Kenny. He always has a huge fan base. I always have to say hi for Mandy. Kenny, you've been in this position many times. You know you can move up quite a bit. Uh, it would be nice, yes. How are the dogs looking? I have 10, and um, they're looking good. They're healthy. Um, it just, That's we're huge. Short, we're short on, this is our first race of the season and um, for the Open team. And, uh, you know, it's just, you learn a lot by racing them. So it's, it's just a good, good thing to... Right, and I remember an earlier comment of yours in the season that it was just too warm where you're from in the in the Midwest and we, Wisconsin we really area. Struggled down there. I mean, it was 90 degrees in late September, and we had uh, 60, 70 degrees in in um, October, and even in November we still had way, way warm temperatures. So once you miss those miles, you, it's hard to get them back. But, and so you're working on team management too. Like basically you have the 10 dogs that you can go, you know how to win this race. You've won it before. You know what a championship's like. Yeah, I haven't won it. I won the Rondi. Rondi, right, okay. But I've been second here before. Yep. And it's just one of those things that you gotta, you gotta play things out for whatever you have for your dogs. And there's an old saying in Mushy, you just can't push rope. Right. So it's about bringing a good looking dog team across the line today. Exactly. And uh, I know from all over the country and all over the world, you have a lot of followers. It always happens when you go up there and, Lori, your wife gives you that kiss that the hearts go flying. So we'll go ahead and let you know that. Bonnie Foster right here saying hi, Ken, and hi, all everybody. kinds of folks. So good luck today. It. Always proud of you. Thank we'll catch you. up with you soon. There's Ken Chizik from the uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, Midwest r racing region there. That's where they always come up from. He's always got that nice hornet sled right there, the Dandler. And then his line all staked out, ready to go. We're getting ready for our race coverage here, so 
I'm gonna get a few more interviews and then switch over phones. Anybody have any questions? I'm trying to, so do they add up their times, Kathy? Yes, that's right, great question. You can see that they do. Hey, that's my friend. We'll go ahead and. I know, I know. This is Redemption Day, right, Amy? What's that? So Amy Dunlap on my on our left here, Emily Andrickin on her right. I'm not trying to turn the camera on anymore. I'm trying to keep it on you guys. So Amy's sitting in a dangerous position where she could certainly move in there, right? Yeah. To the podium. Yeah, I'd never like to uh, predict anything. But... Right, and we know that what can happen. Like we'll, we don't want to relive last year, but strange things can happen with dogs and ropes and hooking down. Emily's in a similar position. Great small team but able to move up maybe i think i i'm not i would have to work hard to move up i'm not as in close as amy is really tight in there with teams i have to move up like a minute and a half which you could in 27 miles yeah. i could yeah you could but it definitely is gonna be some work there's lots of variables hopefully i won't ah! move back but that's really possible too but there's a good gap between me and alex but so there are five female mushers out here you're all right in there really Considering that it's day three and a lot can happen. I think a lot of folks yesterday were stoked to see so many females. Yeah. So just know that you have a lot of support out there that we certainly hope you beat Bud and Michael. <laughs> <laughs> well, me too, but yeah, it was a girl power. We don't know if we yeah. got that. Yeah. <laughs> we're still working on that. <laughs> so we'll stay tuned. Thanks for your time. We'll go ahead and move on. Good luck. We'll catch them again soon. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I've got to get another camera ready for the race. We'll talk to you on part two, which is the right before the start. We'll get.